Hello everyone, it's Otto Kello here and I've got a, a Unity tutorial for you here. I'm assuming if you've clicked on this video then you have the issue that I originally had when I implemented a jump system where I could people could multiple could press jump multiple times and continue rising. You get this problem is if you're using the Unity physics uh, engine where you want gravity to pull your character down and you just want him to jump and come back down just once. But see if I I'm pressing spacebar at the moment, but if I just I press the jump button because I'm using um, multiple ways to move this character. But if, say, you're playing this and you wanted the person to click on the screen to jump, like I'm doing here, if they click it multiple times really quickly, you get this issue, which you may not want, where they'll continue rising as the jump force overwhelms the uh, gravitational pull until you finally stop clicking and gravity pulls them back to the ground so how do we, how do we stop this well i've messed around with my code a bit so i'm going to reverse those changes and talk you through what you need to implement to stop this bug so if i pull up my um, editor here i'll show you the code because if like me you like to watch a youtube video and then copy how the, the guy's code is and edit that then i'm gonna have this on the screen for you to do that um what we've got here quickly is we're saying when the when you press jump add a force of 28f which is a, uh, a vertical velocity that pushes the person up um, how to jump the character is not what this video is about so I'm assuming you've already implemented jump so let me move on to the second stages which is how to stop the character jumping multiple times so you need to create a Bullinger. So I've created here, bull is grounded equals false. And this is basically saying that the, um, the tiger or the player is not on the ground when the game starts. Then you need to put, this is the, this is what I'm doing to press uh, space. But let's go on, on jump button. So when someone clicks the jump button. We're saying if it if he's grounded, so if if the player is touching the floor, then when they press that button, add a vertical uh, a vector three velocity uh, and play the jump sound. Okay, so we're simply saying that if he's on the ground, you know, allow the uh, player to jump. Okay, if he's otherwise the if he's not on the ground, then is grounded must, oh, sorry. And then after that, make is grounded false, right? So this is something I should, I've changed to true. It should say false. So what we're saying here is when you press jump, if he's on the floor, let him jump, but then say he's not on the floor because obviously if he's jumped, then he's no longer on the floor. So this changes is grounded back to false. Then you need here on trigger, enter collision, the collision. When your player collides with the floor okay and for this we're gonna create a tag and i'll show you how to do that then change is grounded to true so what we're saying is when the player falls back to the floor and collides with the floor then we should say he's on the ground now and we should say that to change that to true once we do that you'll be able to then jump again and this is you don't need to worry about this too much this is basically i've got this platform booster which makes you jump higher um so you can ignore that part of the code. Okay. So now that we've changed that, let's see if that fixes it. And let me just uh, change this to false for the space bar. What we're simply saying here is, you know, if he's grounded, once he jumps, then say he's not grounded. So you put it to false. So once we've saved this, and uh, we press play, Hopefully it doesn't take that long. Come on. Okay. Let me just see if that's fixed that. Press jump real. I'm tapping it real quick. I cannot, I can no longer jump more than once until I hit the ground. Okay. That makes sense. Now, the final part I need to show you then is this collision thing. So, if I go into the tiger, for for collisions, you need to create a rigid body and a box collider, okay? 
once you've added these two things this box collider which is this green box needs to collide with something tagged as floor for the bullinger to change from true to false and so on based on the code I've created so if I then click on the floor here we can see hold on plane okay we can see in the top right corner I've created a tag called floor now to create a new tag you just say add tag and then uh, you press plus you call it whatever you want XYZ whatever I, I'm not gonna create it here but you create a name it doesn't matter and then you go to say the you know the floor or the platform or whatever it is that you want to tag and then you change it to whatever the tag is right if for example I change the tag to star 2 and I press play this will break the code it will only allow me to jump once and then I won't be able to jump again in fact it breaks the whole thing so yeah don't do that um, so and the reason that broke by the way is because when he collided with the tag star it deletes the plane uh, it's just part of it's part of one of the other things I've got in the game so it probably wasn't the best tag but anyway I hope that's clear and just to you know perfectly explain it one final time the reason I've called it floor is this part of the code if collision game game object dot tag is floor right if I change that to something else right let's say you call it I don't know ground then make sure the tag that you add is also called ground hopefully you found that useful um, please like and subscribe if you did help a bro out and yeah here's the code hopefully that's helped save you um, some time because when I was when I had this problem and I was looking for a fix and a solution I was struggling to find a YouTube video on it so I thought you know let me help the next person out and create one thank you and bye